Uh, we call this a <laughs> sternocorigular joint distraction. This is going to go That's underneath good. their back, upper thoracic, mid thoracic, kind of upper to mid thoracic spine. Okay. Something you know that you can roll up. Pull up. So just pull it up a little bit. And lay this down. Right there. And come down. Right here. Right so now if I'm going to stretch out this joint here. I keep her arm at 90 and let it hang. My leg just stays here to keep her at 90. I'm going to take, turn your head. I'm going to get on the lateral one third of the clavicle with this hand, with this feet on here. Right. Do I cover or not? You will, just a second. Here. This hand is going to take the breast tissue here, cover here, because i got to contact this maneuver. Like this. Okay? I'm going to get myself up over the patient, and then with both these hands, I'm just going to distract. Hold for a few seconds and relax. And relax. It actually feels good. It feels like anything. But, you know, you would be distracting this joint. So you're on the maneuver? Try it again. You're on the distal one-third of the clavicle, and by having the prop, it helps to obviously extend their back more to create more tension. Now this is a lot of one-third of the clavicle, just resting over the shoulder. Her arm is at 90. I get onto the manubrium here. I get up over, again, my sternum, everything's over. And now it, both, this hand goes this way, as this one kind of goes that way. So this is going both? Well, it's doing this Distracting this, this okay. side. I'm on this maneuverium, but distracting this sacral, uh, sac uh, clavicle, uh, sternocle of the joint. Because right. I have a pain here. The I think I might have a rib out of this. Well, you may have some tight pec muscle. 